Good day guys, today we are February 8, 2020. I'm here in Toronto at the Woodworking Show and I'm going to take you along for the ride. Okay, uh, first of all, my name is Josh. I'm working with Fuji Spray today here. Um, we got a range of products um, readily available for from the inter, uh, from the beginner sprayer all the way through the professional. So this is our entry level sprayer here. This is our Semi Pro 2, and it comes with a selection of a bottom feed spray gun or a gravity feed spray gun. The Semi Pro 2 puts out approximately five psi, and that's ideal for uh, the beginner and those who just wants to want to take the the finishing to the next level. Then we can move up to the Mini Mic 3. The Mini Mic 3 sprayer is approximately 6.5 psi. We've got a selection of spray gun. This bottom feed, this is the T model gun, and this is the Gravity T model gun, the T75G. Also available with the Mini Mic 3 system, the Platinum, is the GXPC spray gun. The GXPC spray gun is a special gun. It's got a, it's got a characteristic of its own. It's got a swivel cup which will allow you to, to spray if you want to spray some uh, uh, crown molding or if you want to spray some, uh, you know, a, a piece that's laying down, if you're able to swivel the cup and still remain the cup upright. Okay, so then we can move on to the Mini Mic 4. The Mini Mic 4 puts out approximately 9 PSI and once again get a selection of your Gravity Feed T75 or your T70 spray gun. All spray systems come uh, as a kit with a, uh, a spray gun, the machine, the, the turbine itself and the 25 foot hose. Uh, you can also get as an accessory a whip hose which is a 6 foot extension. This hose is it's, uh, it's really useful. Uh, it, 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 it prevents some fatigue in your hands when you're spraying for an extended period of time. So, I highly recommend it. You come, uh, you come to our booth today or tomorrow, you get uh, some nice little takeaways. We got some uh, some uh, keychains here. This is a paint can opener, and this is a bottle. Nice. And that's all we have here. We also have uh, we have some de some demonstrations going on. We're doing some live spraying available just to show you how all this works and do a little explanation. If you want to come over to talk about spray finishing, we're all always happy to help you out. I noticed at the corner here you got the Q4. What does that mean? The Q4 is the quieter version of the mini mic system. So you get the Q3, Q4, or Q5 as you get a mini mic 3, mini mic 4, or mini mic 5. Now, if you take a look at the uh, the Q system here, it looks a little bulkier, and that's because it's got built-in noise canceling technology in there, and so it makes it very, very quiet. And it's actually the quietest turbine on the market, and uh, it's going to be as loud as a normal human to human conversation, whereas the mini mic system can be comparable of a noise level of a shop vac, let's say, for instance. So the mini mic four and the Q four really is the same. Thing. The only difference is the noise. That's correct. Okay. The, the only difference. You still get the same selection of spray guns. You still get the the, uh, the same uh, 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 the same hose and everything. Um, now with the five stage, on the other hand, which we have a picture of over here, a five stage, uh, you can either get a mini mic five or a Q five. The Q five has a uh, a speed control dial that allows you to slow down the, the motor speed, which in turn, and you get a lot of benefits out of it. Not only do you have a uh, turbine running at, at cooler temperatures, it prolongs the life of the turbine itself. So the Q5 is the only only turbine that we offer that has the speed control dial. Okay, so uh, uh, for a woodworker with a small business, what's your most popular model? So the woodworker, let's say you're, you're starting, you're in a startup business, you're used to hand apply finishes or brushes, then you want to move up and start spraying. We have the entry level sprayer here, which is which is very, very, very useful. Um, you know, it's a good way to get started, uh, uh, to start spraying, let's say, clear finishes, uh, latex paints, um, and uh, even, even dyes, or um, uh, if you want to shellac, that sprays very well. Um, now another another really popular system is the Mini Mic Mini Mic 3. It's a step up from the uh, uh, 
from the semi-pro and uh, you know that allows you to spray a, a much larger range of, of coatings um, so yeah that's very popular and then we have the Q5 that's very popular too everybody wants the best so that's what the Q5 is for and where are those products made we're a Canadian company and uh, with uh, do the final assembly and testing in our Toronto facility with globally, globally sourced parts. Okay, I can tell you that I own the Minimite 4 and I just love it. It's just an awesome product. Okay, well thank you for stopping by and uh, if you ever have any questions, feel free to drop us a line. We are support at FujiSpray.com and always here to help. Thank you. Awesome. Here. I'm a scroll saw artist, so this is my project. It's the Woodworkers Cross is what I'm working on currently. Woodworkers Cross. Yeah. So what's the big difference between a bandsaw and a scroll saw? Uh, bandsaw is exactly that. It's a band, a, a saw band that actually goes around in a circle or an oval, I guess, and has a shape. The scroll saw has a little five-inch blade. They look, there's a stack of them. They're five inches long and they oscillate. So that just means that it bounces up and down. Um, so that's the major difference. Um, you can do a lot finer work with a scroll saw than you can with a bandsaw. Bandsaw is meant for more simple, simple stick brushes. Right. So I see there's, yeah, there's a lot of fine details and stuff. I guess you can start from the center too and take off your blade and drill a hole, take off your blade and put it back and then... Absolutely. So that, that's another major difference between the band saw and the scroll saw. You can't really take the band out, but on the scroll saw it's got a little lever here, clamp on the bottom to let the that lifts out. And I, I've got pre-drilled holes in my pattern, so I just find the hole and drop it down. Clamp it back in place. And lock it in place and I'm ready to go again. Perfect. Find my product, the, the artwork, at fretwoodmac.ca. F-R-E-T-W-O-O-D-M-A-C-K. Hello, Terry. So, uh, so what you're selling here is uh, accessory tools for machines, right? Yeah, so we have the Centurion brand, which can go on anybody's machine. So that, this, this here, this uh, dust collector here, will fit on any table saw? So that is correct. This one's made for a 10-inch blade, but we also have it that'll fit a 12 and 14 as well. Oh, wow, okay. We also have another version of it that you don't need the table. You can actually mount it on the ceiling and bring it down. Oh, wow, that's great. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. And uh, you also make a, a sliding table saw that will fit on, on any table saw. Yeah, so this gives you 40 inch capacity. You can do a 42 inch cut, right? So you can slide it the entire distance. Oh, wow. So with Centurion, we also have this miter gauge here. It's got the increments on there, so you can actually read how far you're going to put your angle. You have a positive stop adjustment, so when you're doing repet repetitive thickness. And there's also adjustments in the bar itself to take any wiggle out. Okay. So, uh, oh, I see you've got another miter gauge right here, too. Yeah, so again, this is Centurion, so it's an entry-level Centurion, but you still have the adjustments on there. You've got detent pins, so you can make all your fine adjustments as well for any type of miter you want to make. Okay, and uh, what is this product right here? So the last item, this is the uh, tenoning jig. So the tenoning jig allows you to make tenons on your table saw using your blade. It fits into the miter slot two handles for holding. You can even tilt it to make compound miter slots on your machine. <laughs> nice, and, and where can people uh, buy your product? Well, I work for Norman Machinery, and we sell Steel City and Centurion, but we also have all brands from A to Z, and we have three locations in uh, Ontario and Quebec. My okay. location's in Cambridge. 
So you can come on into my showroom, it's 50 by 100 feet, you can see everything. Anything you see here, basically you can get from my store. Okay, can people go online at norman.ca? That is correct, we sell online as well. Okay. Uh, great promotion online, spend over $100, and if it's not over 50 pounds, you get free delivery. Awesome, okay, thank you very much. You could also use the steelcitymachinery.ca website, and you can purchase Steel City Machinery directly from them as well. Okay, awesome. Good, thank you. Thank you. Rebounding mallets or the soft face mallets made in Germany. And we also have specialty hammers from Picard, also made in Germany, such as this 39 ounce framing hammer with leather handle. Non rebounding is great for a multitude of applications flooring, kitchen work, kitchen insulation. And when you hit this, it does not bounce back on you. That's so the holder. Why is it not bounce back? What's so special about that hammer? It's got steel shot inside the head, and when you when you swing it back, the steel shot comes this way, and when you hit, the steel shot drops down and cushions the impact so you don't get any recoil. Oh yeah, neat. Yeah. So and then, uh, where can people buy your hammers? Uh, in Toronto you can get them from Atlas Tools. At Atlas Tools in Toronto. Atlas Tools. And what's the website? Uh, Atlas, uh, Atlas Tools and Machinery .com or for my company it's either uh, Picard okay. or Halder. You can go .com or .de for the, uh, the German websites. Okay, perfect. Alright. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thanks. So Ian, is that the same type of non-rebounding hammer? Yes, it is. But it's a big one. This is a big one. This is for construction site work, uh, landscape work, what have you. And it will not bounce back either. So we'll try it on the station here. Wow. Yeah. So if you're driving T-posts on the job site, big stakes, what have you, no sparking, no kickback, it's very, very safe. Wow, very impressive. So, uh, what kind of heaters are you selling here today? So this is your uh, top of the line infrared heater. It's the strongest infrared heater you can buy because of the bulb there. It's made out of carbon as opposed to quartz. Much more resistant, throws out 8,000 BTUs of infrared heat. Designed like a laser yet distance across a patio. That travels 15 feet. That's why we sell it at shows because you can feel the heat. If I touch it, it doesn't burn me. If I hit it, it shuts off. What it is, it's a carbon fiber coil. You see the picture over here. So when I turn that on, all that carbon goes orange. And you get 8,000 BTUs of infrared heat in about five seconds. It is waterproof. From the outside, rain or snow. Designed originally for patios, restaurants, and bars. To be left outside all year. So by the spa, by the jacuzzi, outside on the patio. But we're at this show, the woodworking show, because it's sawdust proof as well. This is, this is the first and time there's no fan either. No, so it's got a reflector that pushes that heat out like a laser. Now that's 1500 watts. That costs 16 cents an hour in the day to run, 9 cents in the evenings. Yeah, like I'm standing like 6 feet from that heater and it's just absolutely incredible. I'm starting to sweat now. Yeah. And then indoors you can turn it down. You come to the remote control. Now I'll go to the lowest setting. And that's enough to keep the chill off your workspace. And that costs under a dollar a day to run it like that. Indoors, one will heat about 600 square feet. In a garage, about one car garage for one. Most efficient way to heat indoors and outdoors. So I can see that really handy for a woodworker who doesn't want to heat a shop to, uh, you know, a 72 degree Fahrenheit. And, right. uh, you know, put that in front of a project that he just stained for to dry it up. Yeah, it'll heat your surface about 10 times quicker. If you're staining, painting, or gluing, it well, does come with wall mounting brackets, so you can have it on the wall or ceiling. You can hardwire that as well. It's all wing nut bolts, so very easy to transfer from the ceiling or onto the stand. Only weighs five pounds. Only five pounds. Yeah. I can feel it. I can feel it better. So, uh, 
can we buy this, uh, those heaters online? If you buy it online, I don't know if you see on here. If you buy it online, the uh, price will be six twenty-eight with shipping. Here at show, including the stand and tax, four fifty-two. You save one hundred seventy-six dollars at the show. Okay, so what's the website where we can find it online? So it's Vito, just Vito.com. You can find it online, but you'll pay thirty percent more. So help me heat you and buy it here at the show, guys. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks, Ryan. Hello, Ethan. So uh, I believe you're sell selling some sanding mops here, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, you also have a YouTube channel, is that correct? I certainly do. It's called Ethan's. Okay. Answers. Here's a little picture for you okay, there. Let me zoom in on that, Ethan. Sure. And uh, what's your YouTube channel called? It's ETH Answers. Okay. Like that's the so, uh, so you're selling some sanding mops here. Yes. Um, what do you know about them? Let me back up a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. So, uh, what is that mostly used for? Sanding mops. They're a contour sander. So any sort of um, trim or um, like a molding or a carving or like a live edge of a log, anything that you normally have to sand by hand. That's what these are designed to do. So I guess that would be good if you, let's say, you want to refinish a, a chair spindle or things like that. For sure, yeah. So if you already have a finish on the material, what a lot of guys do, I've actually made a YouTube video on it, is removing the finish from anything that's got a profile on it can be a pain. Um, where if you use a finished remover, let it dry and crystallize, and then use a sanding mop on top of it, it makes fin removing finishes really, really easy. Okay, so. Uh, so you're selling, uh, it, it starts, what, at the 4-inch diameter? Yeah, we have 4-inch diameter. They're mostly um, used in the metalworking industry, but the 6 inches really designed for woodworking. They're what most guys are putting on their drill presses or their hand drills. And uh, what's the recommended RPM for the 6 inches? Over 2,000 RPM, so full blast on your hand drill or about a little more than halfway on your drill press. Okay. So, uh, in the grips, what size of grips do you carry? We have 80, 120, 180, 220, 320. Generally speaking, you'll use a 120 on hardwoods and a 220 on softwoods. Yeah, yeah, we have a website, uh, stockroomsupply.com. So all of our products are listed on there. Um, yeah, and you can order online or you can order over the phone if you'd like it. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, very nice. 
nice? Yeah. So, so see? you want to put this on everything that you own that's leather, fake leather, wood, vinyl, rubber, plastic, and metal. Because no matter how worn out your things are, this is going to restore it to be like new. It's going to prevent cracking, fading, and drying, waterproof, and prevent salt stains. So you're going to see that no other conditioner out there gives you such a high quality look and feel that this one does. You actually just got your shoes conditioned at another booth and it didn't do as good of a job. We won't mention names. Now, how they feel of your shoes, people. It's not sticky at all. Okay? Water and salt literally flies off. If you're able to see your before and after, You'll see a huge difference. Right? Look at that even. Look at that. See? And she literally just got her shoe conditioned. Okay? Now move it over just a little bit. So, what I did, I encourage you to do. Okay? On a wintry night, go to your closet and throw in a pile all of your sandals, shoes, boots, belts, wallet, jacket, purses. Because if you do all your things in one go, you're going to get it all at its newest level. You're going to wear things that you haven't worn in years, and you're not going to have to buy as many things. Right? Uh, put this on your vehicle seats, the dashboard, furniture that's leather and wood, recreational vehicles, sporting equipment. It's great for your own dry skin and pet's paws, and it will never expire. It comes in two sizes. Okay, you can store this anywhere. We've got the shoe size and we've got the family furniture size. The shoe size is 25. This one here is seven times the amount. The value is 180 on sale for 100. And where can we buy your product online? Leatherbetter.ca or the different trade shows. We do a go across Canada. And it's really, I'm so addicted to it. If you want your things to be like new, no matter how old they are, this is the highest quality stuff. And it's safe, it's food grade safe. Put it on your cupboard boards, your cabinets, safe to be in your car. You're gonna love it. Leatherbetter.ca. All right guys, so that's it for today. Uh, I've been here all day. Uh, I mean, there, there's so much to see. I can't possibly show you guys everything. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.